I am Anil Kumar and in this video we have taken up mixed functions where we have involved rational functions along with the radical functions and we will see how to find domain of such functions. Again there are two examples here g of x equals to x over square root of x square minus 16 and f of x equals to square root of 2x plus 1 divided by x square plus x. You need to write domain of these functions using interval notation. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Uh, the first one here is g of x equals to x over square root of x square minus 16. Now, whenever you have something in the denominator, it cannot be 0, right? That is very important because you cannot divide by 0. For the ready set, we know it should be non-negative, correct? So, combining the two, that means denominator cannot be 0 and reddition should be non-negative, we are actually solving for x square minus 16 should be greater than 0, correct? So, that helps us to find the domain, that's the key. So, this inequality you can solve as x square is greater than 16 and when you do square root, what is square root of x square? Square root of 16 is 4, square root of x squared is absolute value of x. So, absolute value of x has to be greater than 4, perfect. So, that means that x is greater than 4, right, and on the other side, it is less than minus 4, correct. So, that becomes the the value, possible value for x, right? So, so that becomes the domain for the given function, right? So, that is how you could actually find the domain of this function. So, we can say that the domain of this function g of x is equal to, in interval notation, we write this as from minus infinity to minus 4 union 4 to infinity. Right? So, that is how you write domain of this function. Now, let us look into the other function. We have x square plus x in the denominator that should be not equal to 0. The numerator here is square root of 2x plus 1. Now, when you have this kind of a function, then we are looking for common domain or you can say intersection. domain for both numerator and denominator for the function to have valid values for independent variable x, right? So, what we are looking for here is that 2x plus 1, which is the reddison, should be non-negative. So, 1 you need to solve for 2x plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0, right? And the other one, we are looking for that x square plus x, which is in the denominator, is not equal to 0. So, that gives us the domain, right? 2x plus 1 greater than 0 means 2x is greater than equals to minus 1, x is greater than equals to minus half. And here, we could factor out x, x plus 1 is not equal to 0, that means x is not equal to 0 or minus 1, correct? So, that becomes the part of our domain calculation. Let us see now how to write the final answer. So, let us consider a number line here. So, on a number line, we are saying that if this is our 0, then we have one restriction for, let me just divide this into two portions here, okay, and then we will see what is the combination of this. So, we are looking for AND condition. Intersection means AND condition, right? So, that is what we are looking for. This one says that x is greater than or equal to minus half. Let's say this is minus half for us. When we say greater than or equal to, it means we include this and then it's on the right side. The other one says that x is not equal to zero. That means it is not zero. So that open circle means not zero. 
and it is not minus 1 and it is not minus 1 but all other values are valid do you see that all other values are valid now what we need to find here is the intersection of two what is common between both that is the domain so clearly the common portion here is we cannot include this zero, right? But we could include all other things up to this point and thereafter. Do you see that? So that becomes the common portion. And then we can write domain of this function as equal to. So minus half is included. This close bracket include minus half, right? And then you go up to zero. Up to zero. Zero is not included. And then union we have from zero to positive infinity infinity can never be included so that is how you are going to write the domain of this particular function i hope the steps are clear so it is intersection of these two domains right right so this intersection of these two domains let me write like this intersection of these two domains which gives us that result I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you find this method easy enough to understand. We'll be doing much, uh, many questions like this where complexity will be involved because of many types of functions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to get the basic concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.